All right, BitMang, today is Monday. It is May 23rd. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It's Snake Draft Monday. We are live in New York City at HQ, is it three? We're not yeah. live, but... I know, we're never live. But, but that's, the, the sentiment the is that it's, it's fucking live. live. It's yes. about to pop yeah. off. Exactly. Here. That's... Yeah. That's an old sentiment. Nick's here. Nick, welcome, Nick. Thanks for having me, guys. I'm excited. Third? Yeah. Third, okay. Mm-hmm. Christmas, yes, and Chinese food. Chinese food with Stephen Shea. Mm-hmm. Do you Why'd still you pick get Shea nervous? Again? Do I still get nervous? Yeah, for these, mm-hmm. yes. Okay. Why wouldn't I? Well, I don't know because I don't know if like the familiarity, the comfort. No, I like all of you guys, uh, but this is battle. This is war. Mm-hmm. Dave, does Nick still make you nervous? <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's a weird bird. He's always nah. conniving. Dave and he's I, like, he's, Dave he's and I mended. We, we had some yinglings, and we uh, we threw him back. And <laughs> we're, we're all is well. All is well. Let the uh, the yeah. under caches on the yingling joke. <laughs> <laughs> Was that that draft? Yeah. Oh, Chinese, yeah. yeah. It's a great Chinese oh, Yingling, beer. great Chinese beer. Well, yeah. Dave, I was of, thinking of Sing Tao, okay? <laughs> yeah, you were thinking of Sing Tao. You confused Beijing with Latrobe. <laughs> Sing Tao's good. Do you got like kind of a yingling question correct in the dozen if it's out yet? Did we? We can't spoil the results of the match, okay. but there was a question that could be confused with yingling. Hmm. In yeah, our- that's that. I feel like that's not too much of a spoiler where Jeff couldn't be mad. At He'll that. be he mad. He can't. You, yeah, he will. Yeah. Yeah. No, there was a Chinese name, and Dave knew exactly where the Chinese guy was from and who he played for and all stuff. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Little, I knew that one, Little too. yingling. I don't know why I knew that one. Me neither, pal. I'll tell I you knew it immediately, though. Go watch the show. <laughs> yeah. Now this is bad radio. I'm sorry. Go go watch. The dozen. The dozen. Yeah. Did you guys not know that one? I, no, knew, I knew it, but it. Dave yeah. looked at me. He gave me a look. And he just. And then it was like, I want Dave to get that. Like, I got this. Well, shit. I, I think everybody remembers that draft because that was the Odin Durant draft. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just remembered it for some reason. Well, like immediately. I couldn't mm-hmm. tell you a single thing about the guy other than who he played for and why. Yeah. Uh, but okay, uh, yes, Nick, welcome back. Um, we don't have results from last week yet because uh, I won. We recorded. <laughs> I don't nah, think so. No way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, man. to Chief's defense, him and I were at the airport the other day, or, or, or no, we were checked into the hotel yesterday mm-hmm. in New York City, and it wasn't exactly exactly apples to apples because it was all booze and then uh, sparkling water. I opted for the water. Oh, and water is a great choice. But if there was like orange juice or anything else there, I would have still gotten the water. Everybody always likes to praise you guys because you're the last of the common men left left at Barstool. But you draft like you're a trillionaire. (laughs) But I don't. I drafted a water. All of your drafts, you can look through and just be like, this is a man that's worth $1 trillion. I'm surprised you don't wear a fucking monocle. (laughs) If you have an eyewear draft next week, you're taking monocle 1-1. He would. (laughs) No, I I think drafting... Everybody drinks bottled water. I took my personal favorite. But the thing Eddie is, maybe take a brand and a flavor, even though he took Capri Sun when they have 16 flavors and he just took the whole I, catalog. I, I didn't do it at the time, but I wrote on the graphic what flavor it was. To, to I be think fair. they all so taste you, the same. So you retroactively Nobody changed at, your pick. It was, I did not change my pick. I would have said it in the moment. I just forgot to because I was too busy arguing with Dodo over there. I'm not the Dodo. No water. Yeah, I'm not are. the Dodo. Now, see, this is you a guys, fault on you. And here's yeah. another Why thing. Because you can't pull from Chief's mistakes to cover your blunder. That's what he does. Just, he, oh, he, he, uh, he's the king of that. He's the king shift blame, shift yeah. look over here when I'm actually fucking up. That's exactly what it is. You're a good sous chef in a chaotic kitchen, Ed. You're just moving one pan over here. little little. As soon as Chief starts to... Smells like the Noki's a little done over here. You're like, oh, the Noki is done. I'm already shaving the Parmesan. I drafted Noki. I attacked him, and he attacked me back. Yeah. Or Ed, he, spell he Dodo. Me back. I don't listen to spelling bee, Dave. <laughs> is it, isn't it just D-O-D-O? I think sure so. He called me a Dodo online. And I like day. going with an E. Is that he fine? He goes D-O-E, D-O-E, which is kind of a Tough crazy look, person mood. move. That's fine. That's a twist on an old classic. Yeah. <laughs> I guess exactly. that's one way to look at it. Or he just doesn't know how to spell Dodo. Or maybe I'm, you're a double deer. Mr. Oh deer yeah, hunter. yeah. You're two female deer. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I, I, he's he's going to go D O U G H D O U G H. Does Bambi next have fucked me eyes though? He yeah. or is <laughs> it just <laughs> so so called Bambi me a Dodo? Dodo. I'd be like, Fuck. <laughs> I need to make a change. Yeah. We were talking before this too about this one guy who you, Chief just broke him last week. He's like, I just. I just know, don't know how much longer I could do these drafts. So he's like, he's like, it's not the Chiefs picking from his heart. It's just the lack of strategy is appalling in this guy. I, I thought the strategy was fine. I like, I can't believe you guys are turning your nose up at water. Like, I was the I one just, who had your back. It was yeah. just where you took it. You, you didn't exactly. take hose water. And Chief, you didn't take water fountain. You took Icelandic glacial. You took the most premium, difficult. But like, so what if I what if I took what? 
Isn't it like the most difficult? No, it, it's like the they fucking, sell it at Mariano's. They, it's like the Turkish silver of cigarettes. It's the. It's just. It's yeah. beautiful. No, it's not. It's the. Uh, you guys are acting like it's some like I think Evian's more expensive. It's just fucking awesome water. If I took Poland Spring, would you guys have? That's my no. favorite water. Is that it? is my okay. That's I challenge fine. you to have an Icelandic glacial. Nick, what? you're challenging me to just drink some water. <laughs> and yeah, I would no, like I'm... you to drink the water and then honestly say which are you one up do you for like it, better. Nick? Fuck, man. Hold on. Yeah. Think this. <laughs> Someone reached out who's a water small yay wants to come in. Yes, I bet you never. Uh, Face that in Barcelona versus America. Someone yeah, challenging you to I drink, had to drink water. some water. Yeah. I had to hydrate on it. Uh, delicious. No, the water. challenge is to answer it honestly, which I don't know if you can do. I can do that. Okay. I just like I Nick's think. response. Okay. <laughs> I like Nick's response to that guy to what he said though. Yeah, you you broke, Chief. You broke a man by just being yourself. Yeah. You broke a man by trying your best at your job. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta suck. Just being you. I I have like. This is how I am. Yeah. You know, like it's, I'm 36. I, I know that I can be the worst. The acceptance yeah. is that. That's got to yeah. be freeing. Yeah. And what am I going to do? Change for this guy? No. Sorry. I'm taking water. Sorry, a lesser no. man would change. Yeah. Yes. Would you have taken it third or fourth round if you had to redo? No, I like my board. Yeah. <laughs> I think water is a, fir water is a first round pick. He thought about it. He would. thought about it. Um, <laughs> today's draft was a listener suggestion. Because he made me. <laughs> It is a uh, disgusting behavior, disgusting move draft. Who suggested it? Someone on Twitter. Someone DM'd it to me. Okay. Um, Do you I feel like anybody has an advantage in this one? Uh, I think everyone would. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you think? Do you think anyone? I does? know what people are going to think. <laughs> They're going to assume it's me when I'm the least disgusting here. And if I get you the have first a bottle pick, of your own spit right in front of you. Yeah, that's kind of gross. That is kind of gross. That's the grossest thing I do, though. The grossest thing you do is knock it over on the floor. That's yes. the grossest. I thing I mean, you that's do. that's yes. unintentional, though. Yes. I don't try to spill it. Well, you could try not to spill it, and you yes. don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's that's inadvertent. It's like these are all these are all things that people do very consciously. Mm. I think that's how I'm going at it. We'll see. These yeah, ones we'll see. are weird too because we talked about it before. Uh, smaller board you can have because it's not like you know things are going to get once a couple on you get most likely. picked. Yeah, it'll snowball. Yes, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I yeah. got a weak big big board coming in here. Very fluid. A couple categories, but okay. nothing I'm really married to. So I got one I really want. I got one I need. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's kick it off. Uh, producer Tom, one through five behind the back. Nick, what is it? It's a two. Hmm. So what's that mean? You, you, pick, you get to pick. This is only my third time. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me second. Okay. Uh, one through four, Carl. Uh, three. No. Chief. Two. No. Four. Yeah. I'll go fifth. One through three to me. I'm gonna go one. No. Carl. Two. Yeah. I'll take the first overall. Okay. One or two, Chief. One. Yeah. Three or four? Four. All right. The order is Carl, Nick, Eddie, Chief, White Sox, Dave. Um, There's panic on your face, Carl. No, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I want to how I want to frame this. I like my first overall pick. Interesting. And, and we said before, well, never mind. But should we talk about your spoof? Because that's what it could turn into. Yeah, so I'm afraid like you're going to take leaving spitters around and then it's going to go down. Oh, this guy took, you know, picking his nose. This guy took this. Uh, and then the last person will just take like slurs. Like terrorism. Like saying <laughs> slurs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hijacking planes. Like the Holocaust. Oh, he's disgusting. <laughs> you're a disgusting person. No, 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 but your, your farting was good. That was a good pick, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But sure. So this is generally disgusting behavior. We're not... Like gross Yeah, moves. it's like, that's, that's gross, dude. Like, yes. what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yes. Where you look quickly like, come on. Yeah. I like Ugh. that. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Hey, quick programming note as well. Next week uh, is Memorial Day. It's Monday. I know a lot of people that just come around for the draft. So uh, we just want to let you know there will not be a draft of Memorial Day. We're going to take the week off. It's been a while since we kind of let this thing breathe a little bit. So we're going to take a week off. But the following week, we have a, uh, a really good one coming. We already recorded it. Uh, I think it's the longest draft we've ever done, actually. So look out for that. But just letting you guys know that uh, there will be no draft. Uh, this coming Monday on Memorial Day, and uh, I also want to let you know about this uh, this past Sunday or, or this yeah this past Sunday I went to uh, Game Seven 
with uh, Chief and our producer, Tom Lay. And uh, we went to the, the Rangers-Penguins game, and it was absolutely insane. And it wouldn't have been possible for us to go without the Game Time app. Uh, our hotel was right across the street from Madison Square Garden. And literally just had the last kind of minute where it's like, hey, why don't we see check prices? Let's just see. And Game Time, as you know by now, they have the lowest price drops uh, for whatever it is, concerts, games, whatever it is um, that you're looking for tickets to. And uh, they were able to, we were able to find tickets that were affordable. And we went to the game, and it was an awesome experience. And we're really happy we did so. Game Time is a new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. And they guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score last minute deals. So uh, it's possible. Uh, so, w whatever event you want to go to, it's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. And, um, it was like I said, I just can't stress again how easy it was. So make sure you're downloading this thing, uh, the Game Time app. Go to the account tab, create a login, and redeem code Dog Walk for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Uh, terms do apply, but just make sure you go download that app and uh, use code Dog Walk. You get twenty bucks off. It's a no brainer. Okay, we can get into the draft. Um, okay, Carl, you kick us off. All right, uh, this one came up. I think this knee jerk instant reaction was like, oh, that's very disgusting. Um, and then just kind of talking to people around the office, like, hey, here's a snake draft topic. Like, this is something I think generally just floats to the top of your mind. And it's taking your shoes and your socks off on an airplane and, like, violating mm. someone's personal space with your bare feet. I, I'm not offended by that. Well, because you disgusting. never wear shoe. You're always, like, fucking sockless. That's horrible. Uh, you're sockless in your ice skates. You wear yeah. flip flops. Yeah. You just bought a new pair of Crocs because the other ones were I, so smelly. I've never actually worn Crocs before. But the all I've seen your boat shoes, and they're just like I from 2006. I haven't worn those in a while. Probably going to invest in a new pair this year. But yeah, like I, I didn't do it on the flight yesterday, and I was wearing socks. What if I take my shoes off on the plane, but I am wearing socks? Still. You guys like, don't like that? Just keep your not... fucking shoes on. Yeah. Are you a child? Like, yeah, you're, that's a childish move. Uh, I can know? get past um, no shoes with socks. No socks is absolutely no. Sure, I can. I can like I can see unless I get a whiff and I'm like, what's that smell? And then you see and you're like, oh, it's yes. that guy's got yeah, socks that, on. I would agree. Can't have the corn chips. But it's when yeah. you see like, or if I'm just, you'll see it on Twitter. It's like a very popular thing for people to tweet out like, oh, look, I'm sitting next to a serial killer on this yes. flight to San Francisco or whatever. And then you see it and you're just like, oh god. And then what do you do because? You know, who wants conflict on an airplane? Yeah, right. One of the worst places for conflict. Can't. You get the fucking, you know, you got to get the flight attendants out. Like, oh, are we going to fucking do a little stop in Santa Fe to get this guy kicked off the plane? Is it? And then when the guy looks at me, he's like, what are you going to do about it? You can make me put my shoes back on? It's like, now you now your manhood's been challenged at 30,000 feet. The whole thing stinks yeah. in all material respects. The only way to be comfy on an airplane is by being rude, whether it be like leaning back, taking your shoes off. You want to eat beef jerky, it stinks up the plane. There's no oh. way to He's just be touching a lot of big snake draft topics. Hey. Lean out on a plane, yeah. beat yeah. jerky in a closed space. I, I, I don't I, know how loyal you listen to the show, but you just struck a chord with the audience. Thank you. I, I might take my shoes off, but I will not recline my seat. I'd rather you recline. Your seat. I, I would thing. rather you recline. If you, especially if you're next to me. Well, no well, I mean, shit, especially Dave. In front of you. The, you he, can't keep your shoes on for two hours. hours. If, if the person next no, to me. No, I did last night, but if it's like a cross-country flight, I might kick him off. Barefoot, too? No. Not, not on the can't No, the way he's, you didn't sell me on that. No, yeah. you, that was a soft no. You were no, like, no, I, I, God is my no. witness. God is my witness. I've never had bare feet on an airplane. So here's the thing, though. I think if you go socks, you have to leave them directly under your seat. If you post them up in front of you, if it's like, oh, what are you, you're a monster. People, we, how about this? The picture they put them in like the basket? No, no. where the foot will, cr okay, you and I are sitting window. Yes. I'm, you're in the row in front of me, and all of a sudden a fucking, oh, yes. a foot creeps up yes. into your Jail. armrest up against the window. That's not That's, allowed. Yeah. You can tuck them in the where you would put your backpack. You can tuck them underneath yes, the seat in front it. of you. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. if, you, if your foot's in an aisle, no go. No, no. Now, what do you guys think of the pick? There's obviously more disgusting things out there, but I think it's this good. is more of like we're violating I think social this is a so you're, but protocol. Your, your pick is, say, it like socks it's like, off? It's like naked. It's like bare feet. It's like going barefoot on an airplane or like bare feet infringing in your own. Now, is it disgusting for me, or is it the person who's doing the disgusting behavior? I, th I think it's, I mean, it's just both. barefoot on plane is just, it says enough. Okay, it's disgusting you, behavior. Okay. What I was saying earlier, though, is if someone kicked a seat back next to me, you're guilty by association almost. Like, you might be with that psychopath. I don't want that stink on me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said next to me. But if you take your shoes and socks off on a plane, you should be shot to death. <laughs> 
I think that's a light punishment. <laughs> Tortured, preferably, but I'll settle for just a quick bolt to the head. Mm. Yeah. Um, you're, well, there's you're uh, it's a good pick. It was yeah, on my board. Cr- criminal justice brought to you by White Sox State. Yeah. Up next. How many of those things end in death? <laughs> lots. Of them. Yeah. Lots. Uh, lots of what we're going to draft today will end in death, or they should. So when people think of disgusting behavior, they think of something that's stinky, or you know, uh, something that you can. Uh, a lot of people think stinky feet, farting, stuff like that. I'm going an opposite route. Uh, public nail trimming, oh. number one. I dude, for me, uh, did you have that typed? No, I didn't, but I. It's just like a nervous. It's tick. so I'll, disgusting. I'll, I'll use other fingernails to like, even clip like, my nails on the subway. Somebody's like on there, just having them fling because there's no clean way to do it. Mm-mm. Even if you had some sort of shield apparatus and you were cutting them, I don't want to see it. It's disgusting. It's gross and. Really, it's 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 faux pas that it doesn't have to do with the genitals, which is always odd. It's an odd thing. It's hands and feet, uh, and it's still frowned upon. Because it shouldn't be that nasty. But it is. But it is. And it, it gets everywhere. If you ever find a fucking fingernail in your hotel room or anywhere, it's gross. Yeah. Ruins your day. Yeah. Worse than a hair. Almost, yeah. I would say because it's a, like a conscious decision to mm-hmm. clip your nails right there and just say, fuck it. How about this? Do it at but home. That, I, like, I'm doing it right now. Like, I'm always constantly fidgeting with my fingernails just because I do it. Mm-hmm. And I hate it. And it's gross. It's probably the grossest thing I do. Now, I could pick up. Here's how you first pick up on it. You could be cutting your fingernails. I don't see you. I hear the pop. You hear the yeah. click. And then I yeah. instantly identify the source. And then mm-hmm. it, and then all of a sudden, the clicks just start coming. And it's that click that really gets me. It gets I, louder and louder by the yeah. click, too. I feel guilty cutting my nails at home alone. Like, it's just, like, there's, like, even your own nails are gross. Yes. Like you have to, like... Well, if you don't wear socks. <laughs> I, I'll put my feet up against uh, Imagine what's underneath <laughs> those things. <laughs> yeah. um, we should do a little foot, a foot, foot beauty have, pageant. Get Jersey Jerry Chicago. in here. Get Jersey Jerry in here. Yeah, judge yeah. those. It's an yeah. activity that doesn't get enough uh, backlash for being unpredictable as well. Sometimes the nail just drops right in the ground. Sometimes it flings to the fucking line. There's no rhyme or yeah. reason. It's like yeah. Jeff Goldblum putting the water on the back <laughs> yeah. of his hand. It's, in it's Jurassic wild. Park, yep. It's wild. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, like if somebody sees a fingernail at your apartment and it's yours, you're embarrassed. Yeah. Don't, it's, it sucks. Mm-hmm. It does. Okay. It's to me. Fuck. Was that the one you really wanted? Yeah. I don't know. Should I go with more of a chalk one or the one that I really want? The one that you really want. You've already fucked yourself. I know. But I think it could get back to me, Nick. Do you? Yeah. It's a strategy game, man. I know. So I'm gonna, on that note, thinking that it could get back to me, I'm going to forego that right now. And I'm going to pick sharing deodorant. Mm. Um, I, I just, it, It's just something about it. It's not like crazy gross, but it's also just like, Yes, eh. it is. You think it's crazy gross? I think it's Dude, gross. I, I've done it. I can't tell you the last time I've done it plenty of times though. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's like do or die. Yeah, I, I've even had it like with a girlfriend where she's. Yeah, it's more well, like that for me. Yeah, but it's like even then it's like, uh, like something about it. Yeah, yeah, like that's like one of the like if you're gonna pick like the top five most disgusting parts of my body, it's my armpits. Yeah, and now they're like now my armpits are on you like and you're trying to not smell but you're trying like you're gonna end up smelling like me. It just doesn't. It's gross. Does, uh, I might get crucified for this take. Yeah. Uh, I would rather smell ass than pit. Wow. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't go that far. I, I would rather smell there. ass than pit. Really? So yeah, sometimes I think I'd go burp over fart. Or BO's go fart disgusting. Burp. BO is gross. BO's tough. You don't think it's that gross, huh? No, I'm, I think BO is gross. Thanks, I didn't know why. How no, you no, no, saying, no, like, like the uh, dude sharing deodorant. Uh, sharing the deodorant pick, I think it's. With your buddies, it's definitely fucking gross. Like, my wife doesn't. She shaves her pits. So, like, I, I'm not gross to use her. She should be grossed out to use mine. Yes. She's like, yeah, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, see, fuck I think of it as, like, oh, like, White Sox Dave being like, hey, can I get a swipe? Like, before. Yeah, so that, to I've me. I've done that. Now, here's the thing, though. Times. Would you ask White Sox Dave, can I get a swipe? Or are you at White Sox Dave's apartment? You guys are going out for the night. You feel a little sweaty. You're taking a piss. No. You see White Sox Dave stick on the fucking thing. Are you going to rip a couple swipes and not say anything to Dave? Well, Better not leave an armpit here and there. Because that's the thing. I know though. it's against the rules. If but someone's I'm asking, Dave. asking for a swipe, that means they think they stink and it's not good. So you're like you're going right into the stink deodorant. Would you, if you're in the opposite situation, would you rather use someone else's deodorant or have bo the whole night? Those are your yeah, options. Yeah, you got to use someone else's deodorant. You, you can't have, have to. Bo. 
I've, I'm pretty sure I've used your deodorant before, and I've asked you, and you just you're like, yeah, go for it. It's desperate. Because you're guilted into doing it. I don't remember that, but I'm, now I'm re mad at you for asking. It's off brand I, for you to say no, though, because like you can't say no to one of your. You can't tell Dave no. I have a hard time telling Dave. No. I know it's yeah. off brand for you. <laughs> Look at his face. No. <laughs> Look at his face. Yeah. I hate that. That's don't. true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, sharing deodorant is my pick. Uh, I will uh, hand it over to Chief. You're up. Uh, I'll say leave in like facial hair trimmings in the sink. Mm. This is my number one by far and away. Really? Oh yeah. Uh, I think it's it's because it's like one of those like then what do you do? And it's like you can't really clean like. You, anybody who does that is like a menace to society, and like they'll just leave their their trimmings everywhere, and they'll do who knows what they'll do. But like that is just a thing where it's like you have to make sure every last hair is down the drain. It's disgusting. Is your hand off the chest piece? That's your pick. Yeah, that's my pick. pick. So yeah. all right, so I'm next. I was gonna say just hair and drain. Like I'm sure you guys have dealt with it, living with is that wives your pick? and girlfriends. Well, and stuff. so that those to me are two different things. One of them is like a distinct. You take their hair and they put it on like the shower wall, and it's like, what are you? That doing? is a psycho. I don't. I'm not talking about that. Pulling I'm talking the hair like out of they women they like shed in the yeah, shower, right? And they don't clean the fucking drain out. It's the most disgusting yes. thing on the planet. On the planet. Yeah, there's a lot of hair. A lot of, women have a lot of hair, more than us. But it's clean. I, don't I understand that the hair itself, it's gross to look at, but it's clean. Ugh. I, I, I would have told them to like Producer come and fucking shower. Hotel Stewart? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a little... Not getting any recommend. Oh, hopefully they didn't buy any ads with us this week. You guys are <laughs> oh fucked if God. you did. <laughs> so are you grossed out when you see like a hairbrush with hair in it? Yeah, I don't like that either. Yeah. I yeah. clean them out. So I it's see, a hair issue. I don't think... Um, I don't think it's as gross as you do. I think it's very, it's uncourteous, if anything. It's not courteous. In the shower? No, That's no, no, no. It's just you shaving in the sink. Yeah, because sometimes I'm like going or like sometimes the water buildup will be in there. So like there's like a layer when I when know. That, that top rim. Yeah. 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 That's. That's you just gotta splash it down. You have to, you have to splash it down. No, you, you always down, have this salt. fucking thing going. I've had this for like a couple of years. Yeah, yeah it's but like basically it's because why I, you have it? My face has gotten too fat yeah. to not have it. Mine's a perfect sphere, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. I rolled over yeah. in bed once. I just kept going onto the ground. <laughs> Nothing to stop me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping this summer I'm gonna try my best to lose a little bit of weight. I'll be walking to work more. I'm gonna be working out a little bit, and then maybe in the fall you guys will see my face again. But it's been about two years since I. Okay. I've so when this. you're trimming that at home, though, do you oh, I'm pretty religious about. Okay. How I do it, yeah. Cleaning it? Yeah. Do it yourself? I have, like, yeah. Well, yeah. My my barber will, like, touch it up, too, if I need it. But I'm not, like, I don't have great facial hair. It's, like, a, it's rocking a hard place. You want a fat face or a patchy face. It's hard to shave, dude. Yeah. I almost go to my barber now to trim my beard over a haircut. Wow. Yeah. Like it's this, a nice experience, though, too. Yeah. I've yeah. never had it done. Really? No. Yeah, just, even, it just buzzes. Buzz. I mean, <laughs> I, I've had a, I've had a uh, straight razor. I've so, never had that. So I, it's like a dream of mine. That's nice. like a that's, straight razor shave? That's, that's like old school <laughs> where they the, they put the lather on. Yeah. For oh, yeah. Set the bar a little So harder, that's you can actually, do great things for me. <laughs> that's actually my, like, going to be my reward to myself when I feel like my face is no longer fat. I'm going to go get that done. There you go. And, it's but a dream of mine. I, I, when I, I had lost. <laughs> it's, it's a Dave's dream. Dave's you dream could be attained by forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what if the, I told you your dream could come true, my friend? Like in an hour, probably. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna buy you one because then I could say I made no, one of your I, dreams come yeah. true. <laughs> but that's you can't accept it, Dave. If you can, I'm not gonna it accept it because he'll, he's just buying it to hold it up. Hey, now, man. is it more if you gotta shave closer to his eyeballs? It's probably a little bit trickier. <laughs> Hey, you got the eyeball beard going too. I noticed a little bit. No, I don't think it's that you as got, high as you yours. Got, that, it's not. As, it's not as thick either. No, you just yours, got the patches. <laughs> if you, yeah, yours He's just not that high. Because my face is also fat. I I can't tell you. It's been years since I've taken a razor to my whole face. Really? Yeah, I just buzz it. Then. I just buzz. Because yours gets pretty close. Yeah, I um, found a scale that I had packed away at my old house and unpacked it, and I made the mistake of stepping on it. And I was shocked and mortified. What was that number? Nah, it's personal, private information <laughs> that I'm not going to share here, but it was, it was substantial. Probably right. two at Nick's. Hope that, things get better. Yeah. Um, can you? Uh, to your, are you doubling that? So you're I'm saying not, pulling I'm hair not. out of drain? I'm not. Because that still applies, I think. That's different. It's always soap scummy. Di- it too. is different. Yeah. Yeah, that's a different. Yeah, the, mine is specific to like sink. the. Sink. You know what? I'm yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna take that one right now. Okay. Right now. All right. 
Maybe if it gets back to me, I will. All right, so what's your pick? Uh, not cleaning the toilet regularly. If you don't do that, you're fucking sicking me. Uh, it Like, I would say I clean my toilets. I, I only use one of them for the most part, but every other day with, like, Lysol spray. and Every other day? Every other day, yeah. That's that might good. be overkill. That's, that's, that's very frequent. Maybe yeah. two, maybe every couple days, but it's multiple times a week that I'm scrubbing my toilet. It's usually like a weekend. What kind of dumps yeah. you taking? Pal? Yeah, no, that's not. It's the hair that gets on them. My ass hair gets on the toilet. <laughs> Your <laughs> ass hair gets on the Sometimes. toilet. How Sometimes. hard are you wiping? Are you are you wiping and twisting and pulling? Then you go in you, and pull you out a clump. Have to. No, no, no. Is I'll your sit toilet seat the... Velcro? Yeah, what is what's, how's <laughs> ripping hairs out? <laughs> how much ass hair do you have? I don't know. You don't know how much ass hair? I can't see my ass. Can you see your ass? All right. I think Actually, if, if I think if I was shedding all over the toilet, you I would probably try to. I'd have to take you ever a... catch a shadow of your ass in there? You look in there, you catch a shadow? No, I, I avoid that. All right. You see some But the point is, if you don't clean your, like, I've seen your toilet plenty of times, and it made me want to puke my ass. Mine? No offense. Mine? Yes. When you lived on Thomas Street? No. I mean, well, that was there. I had an issue for a while with George was getting all his hairs all over it. But I clean the toilet every weekend. He's blaming the dog. This is this is slander. You're blaming I, the dog for I, a dirty toilet. toilet. Well, it would. He would have like he would he. I had to put child locks on the bathroom That's true. door I that. because he was getting in and drinking out of it. And he like I had like the little latch handles, and he like figured out like a Velociraptor in Jurassic Park like how to open the door. So like he was Walt drinking. Park Jurassic Park yeah. references. Yeah. In, uh, so he was. Moves draft. Yeah. So he was. He was drinking out, of, and it was. It was disgusting. So you have a very smart dog who pees and sheds no, in the toilet. He does who not, should be responsible. He did for not it. pee in it, but he would like. Yeah, there would be dog hair like all over the toilet seat and in the toilet Maybe bowl. Maybe that's what I was getting yeah. confused. But it was. <laughs> yeah. It was, you know, a, it, it was it unsightly. Was, it was gross, and it was like a big reason why I like got the child locks because I couldn't stop him from doing it, and it was disgusting. Hear me out, boys. They should make brown toilets. <laughs> Why don't uh, they? Because they would be harder to find the fecal pattern. Why would I it want, you wouldn't have to clean it. It's the, cl- the toilet you'll never I have to I want it to be clean. I don't want there to be, like, mystery nah, poop be, streaks yeah. in there. Like, let it, like, I want to be able to see it so right, you can but like, get it. would to save it. you the embarrassment. Yeah, but white seems a bit much. White is a much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but that's, like, why, like, in a kitchen you want to, you I like to have white countertops because you know when well, they're clean. Well, that's food. This is poop. But it's like the same thing. You can identify the spot that is unclean so you can clean it. Right, but but like it would save you from cleaning every other day. Nick like doesn't that. clean his toilets. Really. I clean my toilets often because they're fucking white. <laughs> that's what. But like, isn't it nicer to have a clean toilet than a dirty brown toilet? Wouldn't you just you rather know have... if it's dirty? But you can you can assume that. Well, sure. Dirty. Then you still get it with the brush, but you can miss a spot. Ew. <laughs> not ew. <laughs> ew. Not ew. Yeah, like it's not like one of those things that just goes away if you can't see it. It's I think you're in gross. the pocket of fucking uh, toilet brush Mr. right Clean. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in the pocket of big I toilet would, brush. I would, I would love to be in the pocket of <laughs> Mr. Clean and just be like getting those extra ad dollars, but... No, I think you don't want to. You don't want to have mystery poop that you just like camel. You I'm want just saying it would poop. save you. It would you save you from embarrassment. <sighs> no, 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 no. I'm I, gonna I'm gonna err with Chief on this one. Oh, brown toilet. I but white, white is much. It's worth more, a thought. It's, it's more aesthetically pleasing. It's worth a thought. You've ne- you've only seen white and maybe sure, black, but maybe I can black, visualize yeah. it. Can you? Yeah. Like a green toilet would be awesome. I they should start making different colored toilets. They definitely had brown toilets in the seventies. Yeah, definitely. Probably, yeah, probably, probably did. Yeah. And then somebody was like, "Yo, this fucking bathroom smells like shit." And what could like, it yeah, be? But the toilets are clean. <laughs> it's spotless. Like, uh, I think it's a good pick, though, Dave. I do. So no Thank skid you, marks right? in the White Sox Dave house. No, no. It's, it's clean, clean as a whistle. Um, Always. You're up again, David. I'll take not pulling the hair out of the drain. It's a good. Just pick. Neanderthal move. Neanderthal. I grew up with sisters, and like all of a sudden, I'd be showering to go to like high school in the morning and shit. And all of a sudden, the water would be like rising up my feet. I'd be like, "What the fuck? I'm not taking a bath right now." Look in the drain. There's a fucking clump of hair. It's like I, you're you you're all disgusting pigs of humans. I had a buddy who was uh, an engineer at a hotel, and this was part of his job. And ah. he was uh, so kind to Snapchat it to us every day of him with a tweezers or whatever he was uh, just pulling uh, massive yeah. hairs uh, out of it. Yeah. And it's still like, it's worse than, you know, people think they thought they were funny. They'd send you pics of like their shit. It's like right up there with That's it. That's worse. Yeah, it's bad. And it's always held together by some sort of mystery viscous substance. Yes. It's probably yes. shampoo. 
Probably, most likely. Probably, I didn't think about um, that. Shampoo. I feel like we covered this. Is yeah. there anything else? It's gross. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. gross, but it's it's solved pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You can yeah. just kind of reach Drain. in there, and yeah. and when it does get solved, it's a very good feeling. Yeah, I oh, just yeah. recently cleaned the drains in our place, and it was just super nice to go and like do a little Drano, wash them out, ran some boiling water, some soap and water, just like clean. So they were kind of sparkling yeah. a little bit, and then. You're testing the water, and this water is just going right through, and it's like, yep. oh, we're back, baby. Mm, yeah. We are fucking that back. Is, that it almost true. makes but it all worth it, yeah. I'm, taking, it? I'm taking yeah. a shower yeah. right now. Yes. Sorry. Give it a little test drive. A little excitement. Uh-huh. So. Um, okay, not pulling hair out of drain is off the board. Uh, Chief, back to you. This one is from the bar, but like the people who can't either don't lift the seat in the bar when they're peeing, or when they just pee, like, it, like little splatters all over the seat of the toilet absolutely disgusting so like those like that is just like you have no respect for your fellow man so is it peeing on the seat or is it not cleaning up after you pee on the seat i i would say it's it's like sometimes everyone's been there where you miss but you have to be able to wipe so i would say it's you pee on the seat and leave it that's so not cleaning pee off seat. not cleaning pee off the seat because i was going to say i think it's a little to i would be on a soapbox if i said i think it's disgusting to pee on the seat i pee on the seat Sometimes I pee on the seat. Sometimes. You know, you're just you're just quick, it's out, pee on the seat, clean up. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yes. Yeah. And I've noticed I, I turn 30 next month. I've been dribbling way more. Way more. Have you been smoking a lot? Yeah. All right. So smoker's cough will make you dribble. Okay. Because smoker's cough weakens the muscle that pushes the fucking dribble out. Is and that I the know prostate? that because I was getting dribble. And I was like, what is so going on? I'm dribbling to... more. Yeah. And so there's a massage technique. Like right in your grundle under your balls, it'll push it out. Grundle massage? Okay. Yeah, you have to just like, I'll, sh- wow. I'll send you the link or I can show you. Yeah, uh, either or. That's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. No, I've just been, as I feel that it weakens, I just walk closer. So I start and I, it's hmm. me getting. This is scumbag behavior too. Yep. Yeah, scumbag. Just right? fucking clean. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's like, you're even if it's someone's job to clean it, why are you making their job harder yeah. by not just giving your, you know, like you made that mess. You clean that up. Mm-hmm. He'll... He'll get in there with the chemicals later, but you can't just leave your pee everywhere. Can't leave yes. your pee. Can't do it. Come on. Um, all right, it's back to me. I'm going to take the one that I wanted. Uh, I think this is this is when I when we talked about this topic. This is the first thing that came to my mind. Uh, it is disgusting behavior if you use a water fountain and you loogie in it and you don't wash it. Oh. Down. oh. You know what I'm talking. You ever yeah, walk what up a to yes, you fucking whatever rec league, sports, <laughs> park league, and you walk up, there's a big green loogie there. It's, it's like, dude, up. at least fucking wash it down. It makes you Sit like there five minutes if yes. it takes forever. Yeah, it's thick yes, enough. yeah, that's disgusting. Neanderthals. Yes, but there is part of the pride. I'm just, I'm not doing it. I'm just saying there. If you have a good loogie. Right, and you're a little kid. You're like, I'm, uh, I'm not fucking washing that one down. That, that thing came out of me. Like, there's this little weird little kid pride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You made that. Yeah. Yes. Disgusting. Um, Especially, it, listen, I don't know. Gross. Is water fountain culture still a thing? Did COVID kill it? Because when we were kids, water mm, fountain a was a question. huge thing. Where do you stand in line? No cuts, no butts, no coconuts. Can you do bathroom break Sleep. or water room break? You're save like, some for the fishes. It was the yeah, first thing as a kid, too, where you could like, yeah, oh, yeah, save yeah. some for the fishes. Yeah. But that was like you're a kid. You go up to the teacher. You're like, hey, can, uh, can, can I go get some water? And the teacher's like, yeah, fine. And then you get a little break. You have to walk the hall alone. Yep. And I, I feel like every school had like one like really great water fountain. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it was cold as fuck. Yeah, cold as fuck. Good, good Strong pressure. Flow, yeah. Strong flow. Yeah, yeah. I, it's just ugh, the people I would leave it there. It's like, and it's honestly, it's gross to even spit it in there in, in the first place. Yeah, yeah. You know, use the toilet. But if you're gonna do it, you gotta. If it's wash like it yeah, like if it's an emergency, like same thing as like accidental pee on the seat. Like yes. sometimes this is the spot better than anywhere else. You can't run through a bathroom; you just spit it there. But you got to make sure it goes down. And it always seems to be in one of the low flow uh, yeah. water fountains where you have to get real close. <laughs> yeah, it's a real shame. And your yeah. nose is almost the in thick it. porcelain. Yeah, where you have to turn the handle. You don't press the button on. You don't turn talking, it. You're turning it on the side. Yep. It's got it's got prongs on it. You fucking grip your mm. fingers in it. That Ugh. water fountain's been smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Um, Nick, you're up. Uh, Got to go with wiping boogers on stuff. Yes. Mm. Uh, it's boogers on stuff that's not tissues. I don't know what else you want me to say about it. If you ever see, like, you know, we had a controversy here. There was uh, somebody who was wiping their boogers on the wall in the bathroom. It's disgusting. I heard about that. They're Did gross. we ever find out who that was? Based on the size and the mutant shape, it had to have been Mantis, right? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that's what um, a lot of people said. A lot of people that. said that. But I'm I don't surprised wanna... the bathrooms aren't bugged here with cameras just to find out who commits these. F- 
felony felonious acts. Yeah, I think that's highly illegal. Yeah, that's I a know, felony, yeah. but <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, it's uh, leaving boogers on things. If you know, even flinging a like, you know, just yeah. Can we all agree though that picking your nose is kind of cool? Sometimes you get one and you I'll just pick. I'll pick. It, uh, You'll get course, in there and you get all that air rushing and you're like, ah, oh, it feels good. Yeah, I, I don't ever want to get caught doing no, it. No, 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 right. absolutely not. But I mean, it's just so convenient to do. Yeah. But just dispose of the booger still. Yeah, of sure. course, of course. And so there's you, just some that like, oh, you're a flicker. I'm asking Nick if he's if you. He, no, uh, God no. If I'm outside, I'll flick. Yeah. No, I outside. can't do it. And it seems like booger crust is one of the harder things to get off something. If it's wiped on a wall, you can see the remains of that. It almost looks like the body so, outlines after they drop the nuclear bomb. Yeah. It's like, it looks I, like that. I had someone suggest that I get a new couch on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm like, I'm not doing that because there's got to be boogers wiped on there somewhere. 100%. So just, there definitely is. Yeah. So I'm, I'm out. Yeah, my, I'm much. afraid to look under this table. It, oh, it's probably bad. Yeah. Probably real bad. It's probably bad. You want to I mean, make it worse? Mm, no. No. Um, Neither you, do I. You have had bad allergies, so. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, Carl, you're up. Um, I'm going to take, I don't even know if this is, to me, this is like the most disgusting thing in the world. I see this and I'm like, oh no, I can't go swimming today. You're at either like a friend's pool or a public pool and you just see like a, a loose bandaid floating. In the oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how intentional those always are. I don't think people are like taking just, their band-aids yeah, off. Throw no, it in the I pool. know, <laughs> but it, so it's like, it's just one of those things where it's like, it is it, gross. It's disgusting seeing a band aid in a pool. So leaving band aid in pool because technically someone. So that's knows what I'm that saying. I brought this question up earlier. Like, is it disgusting behavior that you are doing, or is it just this disgusting Things. thing that you're like? See, oh, that's like, disgusting. Yeah, like, I don't know if this. There, I feel like this. Ha there has to be some level of intentionality. So is this? Here's a better way to frame this: Is the winner of this draft, or is a good draft, or, or the drafting process we're doing right now? Is this for actions or situations? I'd say it could be. So like, far, I feel like it's been all actionable. So this draft's called disgusting moves, right? Yeah. Because my, moves is an that's what I said at yeah. the start of this. Is I said feet on a plane. Now is it me putting my feet on the plane, or is it someone else's feet in my space? And I'd argue that it's their feet in my space. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. the disgusting thing. It's like that's fucking disgusting. You're on a plane. Their feet are next to you. So I still think I'm in the same boat here where it's like you're at the pool. It you're is at the, definitely you're at the community gross. pool. You know, you're at fucking Oaklawn Aqua on 111th. Yeah. And I'm going to dip into the fucking you know adult you know it's a the adult swims over. You're going to get in and like one of the adults left his fucking Achilles yeah. heel bandage in there. But it, but like when that thing falls off, like if, if you see it fall off and you don't get it, then sure. I mean, then that's psychotic behavior. But I, my yeah. disgusting pool bandit. I think it's that simple. When you wear a bandit to a pool, you got to know that it's. But now we're getting into off. stupid behavior. It's like, well, that's stupid, or that's, I guess, disgusting in some respect. But it's a pool. You know what I'm talking about. You're I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's gross. For sure. It's like, gross. It's very gross. Yeah. And, yeah. and based someone, on your reactions, too, everybody in this yeah. room went, oh. I think yeah. everybody's gotten one that's yeah. not theirs. Well, that's the thing, though. It's someone knows if you lose your band aid, you know you lost it. It's on you to grab that out and throw it away. I mean, it's yeah, a it's, big it's pool. I mean, it's, you know. You it know. is. It's, well, but then it's like if it, everyone's just wearing like a generic band aid, then you see a band aid floating, you're like, is that mine? Well, how many well, wounded I, people do you think are in the pool? If it's, if it's a community pool like he's talking about, there's everybody? probably multiple. How many? Yeah. Per, what per, uh, if say there's a hundred people in the bar school office today? What percentage of people do you think have a bandaid on? Right. I now? never wear bandaid. I hate bandaids. Okay. Okay. Do you think either. it's? Do you think it's less than three people are wearing a bandaid? Right yes. Now? I'd, I'd rather. I don't out. do anything physical anymore, so I don't really get cut open anymore. You pick your nails. You might get a little hangnail like you're doing right now. Are we good? Bandaid in a pool? Look at his keypad right now. On his mouse pad, he's just got remnants from his fucking nails. Nick? That's gross, man. <laughs> uh, there's nothing there. <laughs> there's like four or five it's right on your of, Yeah, it's yeah. Like right on your... It's not nail stuff. What is that? What I don't know. It? Yeah. I, I got my number one, nail stuff. I got my number one foot. I got my number one wet situation. So leaving Band-Aid in pool. Off the I, now, see, you keep saying leaving Band-Aid in pool, and that makes me the no. disgusting person. No, no, no. no. It's it not, doesn't matter You're not who. the disgusting it's person. It's just someone, disgusting behavior is yeah. leaving a Band-Aid in the pool. That's Loose making it a behavior. Yes. Yeah. Leaving yeah. it you have to sounds it intentional, way. but, you know, we don't get the it, word choices right. It's it's appropriate to go through these things. Are we? So we can move yeah. on to the next picture? You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. This is, this is the... This is super disgusting. It's almost so disgusting. It's like legendary. It's like mythical. Uh, I'm taking the bar mat shot. At oh. the night, the bar mat. Yeah. It's like, 
Oh my fucking god! We're I don't gonna, think I've ever actually camps, seen that. Where like I, people will yeah. pour it in and like, oh Ugh. no way they're doing it. It's like Sandberg's doing it again. <laughs> <I'm> like they, <laughs> they got the twelve ounce cup out. Oh yeah, that is a. Uh, it's just disgusting. It always looks like paper mache water. Yeah, very Ew. gross. Oh my gross. god! Yeah. I wish you didn't give me that. Put the paint but this is, I think, no the, drink the, the way yeah. the way we feel right now. Yes, Eddie's face. Like, like that's, he, I think. Yeah, that's the 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 core of this trap. That's where this trap lives. Is I, you should feel like, oh my god, why would you do that? I think that toes the line of disgusting behavior or slob behavior, which I think is different. The slob draft. Slob Slobs draft. can be legends. This is this is. I would say a hundred percent just disgusting. I because it's always you're doing it for the shock value. But this not, is it's either your twenty first birthday or you're a fucking pledge, right? Yeah. I mean that's all this is. Or this you're is, the guy who when he was a pledge and it was awesome and then he never let go. That's his trick. It's like uh, he's he's socially awkward. There are but like just, there's that yeah. five minutes a weekend where it's like, here he comes. This, but this is like probably the guy who like no offense to Dave, but like <laughs> Dave's Dave's a guy you pay to eat disgusting things, mm -hmm. and he does it for twenty bucks, like the cicada. It's like the yeah, same. Yeah, well, Dave like, has bu we, Dave's a bullpen catcher at heart. That's we why. had this kid in high school. His name is Nick. No relation to the Nick Terrainy to my That's left. a first name. So and yeah. um, <laughs> so every day we'd come in with like our two or three bucks, and there were maybe ten or twelve of us at our table, and we would bring in anything from multiple sticks of butter. Too, there was this one uh, hot sauce called Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce that to this day it's like the hottest hot sauce I've ever put. You related on. to him? Uh, no, I'm not, <laughs> not. No relation to that either. And we'd throw the money in the middle. There'd be like 18 bucks in the pot, and he would sit there and he would just munch on sticks of butter or Ugh. whatever we were doing. Can I say something? And I don't want the person in the room to be mad. I feel like Tommy Lee Jr. would just take a bar mat shot just to get oh, wild. With yeah, the he would. Oh, Tommy, come on, I come don't on. Think so. You want to do bar mat shots? Yeah. Oh, never. But he, the kid the, at the his lunch? best friend from high school loves him though. Like yeah. I feel like you run with a guy in your crew. Come on, bro. You guys stick cigarettes up your nose and stuff like that. No, my one friend did take the the beer runoff. Uh, he drank some of the beer runoff at MSG when he stopped serving beer. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Oh, okay. So he's That's saying his buddy took disgusting the, too. His buddy took some of the beer runoff at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, they never rinse the out those buckets at MSG. I hear. Oh yeah, probably not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is gross, disgusting. Um, Nick, you're up. Uh, Got to go with leaving zit pus in the mirror. Yeah. Popping zits in the mirror. Popping zits in the mirror is awesome though. It's real. It's it's whenever you get a nice one, but yeah, when you go to somebody's mirror and you see that, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's so easy, so easily remedied. Oh, you'll see it. Pay attention to a mirror when you're going to somebody's bathroom next time. Yeah, like anybody's mirror. I swear to God. Yeah, it's it happens more often than you'd think. Uh, it's so easily. There's fixed. probably in this bathroom. I bet there's probably. guarantee it. I think this is a good pick because it's the the remedy for it is easy. Uh. And the disgusting value is high, and you have to just be gross to to leave it. Yeah. Great pick, Correct. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but again, I don't, I don't want people to hear this pick or see this pick and go, you know, feel bad if they like popping popping zits is one of the all time Dude, great feelings. Sure. When you let when 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 you're sitting at your desk and you got one that's just kind of bug, bugging you, you can feel it, and then you're like, well, once I get in front of the mirror, I'm gonna let this baby go. It's game it's over. There. And you got your special spots where you know, like, ooh, there's some good juice coming from that side. <laughs> Dude, there's this, uh, I don't use Snapchat ever. I don't. I couldn't tell you the last time I sent an actual Snapchat. But I'll open it sometimes and I'll have, like, a thousand missed ones. And the Snapchat reels or whatever their version of reels are, it'll be, like, disgustingly uh, cathartic or something like that. And it'll just be video, videos of people zit-popping. I'll watch them here and there. Where well, they got the little tool that push yeah, they have yes, the tool. Exactly. We gotta get one. And it's like microscopic. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Zooming in on the nose. Yeah. yeah. It's you gross. Can, it's it's gross, but I'll watch them. Yuck. It is randomly cathartic to watch those. Yeah, I like I like Doctor Pimple Popper. She's a babe. I can't. No, I can't it. watch it either. I can't. That and the especially the cysts. Videos. Ooh, I like a good cyst. Oh, when no. they gotta those get the never scalpel end. Out, they never and end. And just like oh. Oh. that's see that's too much. That's yeah, it's too much. Zit I can handle the rest. That. Okay, um, I'm up. Hey, let's take a quick break here again because we want to talk about Roman. Uh, big weekend coming up. Big weekend coming up. Memorial Day, you might be going to a boathouse. So, why did I say boathouse? Well, maybe you're going to a boathouse. There's probably a lot of... If you have a boathouse, you're probably having a lot of sex, right? That's got to be a fact. 
There's no way people who don't have boat houses aren't fucking. And I hope if they are, I hope they're using Roman swipes uh, because Roman swipes are the secret to longer lasting sex. They're a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and fast acting, but they don't require a prescription. Roman can ship swipes to you in discreet, unmarked packaging, and each swipe packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. They're super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the packet, swipe it on, let it dry, and you're good to go. That's it. To get your hands on them, go to GetRoman.com slash dogwalk to get $10 off when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash dogwalk. One more time, GetRoman.com slash dogwalk. Go get your swipes, people. Uh, really, you got nothing to lose. You guys listen to the show, and, um, you know, Roman is one of our top sponsors. So, uh, you know, give him a shot, and uh, you know, I, I know you'll like him because it's there's literally no way not to like something. That's just going to enhance your performance. That's the way I view it. So, GetRoman.com slash dogwalk. Go do it. All right, let's get back into the show. Disgusting behavior. It's it, it's kind of off yours, Nick, but it's uh, – People who put gum under the table. Yeah. It's it, it's fucked up. And it's gross. Like when you put your hand under and you feel it. Now feeling yeah. it's gross. That's so disgusting. Because you know what it is right. immediately. Yeah. yeah. Gum under a table. That's, just... that's almost a douchebag move too. I feel like that was way more popular in the 80s and 90s though when they had us like they had us by the balls basically because they said if you swallowed gum it would like be in your gut forever. So I felt like there was a bigger push back then for kids to not swallow the gum. Yeah. I think we got over that. I swallow gum all the time. Okay, I still don't think you should be swallowing gum. There, really? there was that. I don't uh, think there's an issue, is there? It's not an issue, but I don't think that. Well, yeah, well, you kind of gloss over that a little quick, pal. Well, I remember I, I, that video of Hank where he said that he was never told that he was supposed to spit it out, that he had swallowed. He, this was like from like five years ago, but Hank said that he had swallowed every piece of gum he ever chewed. So he just like. Like his entire intestine. It's just all like, So yeah, I guess if Hank is still alive, then. He's okay. It might be okay. I don't think you're supposed to, but I think you just shit it out. I'm assuming. Yeah, I would guess, right? Like, I shouldn't swallow, yeah. like, a fucking... We, um... So, I got that blackjack table that's in the dog walk studio, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, we took it off. It was, like, big bubble wrap, and, like, we're all, like, manhandling it, and then we pull it over to its side because we had to roll it in, and there, the amount of... Oh, gum I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, that we were disgusting. all just pawing. Yeah. It was, it's legitimately fucking gross. Ew. Yeah, because they sent you that blackjack table yeah. off yeah. like a floor in Detroit. Yeah, like, they weren't just yeah. like, oh, we'll yeah. call the manufacturer, have them send an no. extra one out to no. Ed. No, no, it was like this is like in the back yeah. poker room that yeah. has been closed for a decade. Yeah. Smelled like Marlboros. And, yeah, that yeah. one's marked. It's been here since '93. Yeah, we could, we could, we could lose that one. <laughs> yeah. give it to him. He doesn't need a new. Well, one. it's a nice touch for the office. Yeah, I always do enjoy yeah. seeing you behind the table. And it, thank you. And it yeah. was nice of them to give it to me. So I am fortunate. I am thankful. Sorry. Yeah. Not thanks for the gum table. Yeah, thank you for the gum table. Yeah. Um, and also, White Sox Day was accused of putting gum, his gum, under the table after uh, gum. That day. is true. Remember? Oh, With, uh, by by the oh, host of the show, they yeah. said that it was. It would have like. Have you seen that? Nick? You, you've seen the White Sox Dave gum video, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. So uh, it, yeah. It's, <laughs> the host alleged we had him on Barcelona uh, Chicago radio, like the, the anniversary one year, and he's like the best part about that that nobody knows is. The, we went and looked at the table after, and White Sox it wasn't the table; it was the after. chair, and it yeah. was a piece of gum like where my ass cheeks would be. Mm-hmm. Why would he lie? To put some zest in the story. Wasn't I can't remember it now. I'm like blank. Oh, like, but didn't you refuse to sit in a chair because you thought it would make you look short? No, <laughs> that he told me that too. I don't that you because you like you stood and you had like the iPad like strapped to your hand like it was one of those like the tennis ball yeah. catcher <laughs> things that's what it looked like can we not rehash this story <laughs> again for the 18,000th time the guy told me that you were like having a freak out and that you refused to sit in the oh. chair next to them because you thought it would make you look short probably <laughs> it's, that's a stressful studio though Dave you and I have a couple stressful experiences there it's just like you go on to WGN live TV be prepared to be stressed out so exactly. I, I sympathize with Dave and uh, you know in hindsight Oh, it's funny. whatever preposterous moment. That's now he's funny. on camera professionally all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah every crushing day. Crushing it. <laughs> 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 Jokes on you, losers. Uh, Chief, you're up. S- stuff in your dirty tissue somewhere. So, like, mm. you blow your nose and you just leave it around, or you put it in your cup holders in your car. Like, I feel like any time you find like a used tissue is just the most disgusting thing. So, not throwing away. Tissues, your dirty, dirty tissues. tissues. Yeah. Why the fuck do hankies still exist? <laughs> hey, guy, your guy. Yeah. Yeah. As your fucking guy pulled one out on Fleming. Last, uh, yeah. yeah he Fleming. pulled one out last week on the snake appropriate track. last name. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. He had a multicolored uh, th- those, bandana. Th- those should be left 
way in the past. As soon as my tissues were invented, my grandpa still uses one, but I feel like he he's it's like in his 80s and like. <laughs> but I feel like he should yeah. be the last generation allowed to use it. Yes. I, I, yeah. And they shouldn't it, sell hankies anymore. They were like, we don't they, have the technology. They're like an make. accessory. Like they can only just go to like match yeah. your tie or something. Like you shouldn't be actually practically. Well, used. chief, that's a kerchief. Is it? What's the difference? A kerchief, uh, like a pocket square. Yeah, yeah. That, I don't just, think you blow your nose in pocket squares. No, do you? no? Just de- I thought that's where that whole decoration. thing came from. Mm-hmm. I guess hang kerchief is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it's Frank just uh, mid dog walk snake draft just is letting one fly into the hanky and then he gets up and shoves it back in his pocket. That's, that is Neanderthal behavior. That is yeah, yeah. Well, when newspapers die, hankies will die too, right? Maybe you got to think. It's just every time you touch, they're tied hanky. together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are. For, for some fucking reason, they're yeah, tied together. I think so. Um, White Sox, Dave. Eating boogers. Picking them totally acceptable. There's not a person on this earth who doesn't pick their nose if and here's it's a necessity. Thing. Here's a Why thing. you gotta eat it? I think a lot of people are gonna be like, "Oh, duh, Dave." But like the amount of times like people get caught like on like you know, like a baseball game, yeah, right, or, like, right. It happens way more than it should. Inspection, yeah. the inspection I've before they eat. Seen is I know. I've never they, known anybody to do it. They though. pick. No, I, I. I had a neighbor in third grade who did it. Like he was we a, kid? Both, a kid, a yeah. kid, both in the third grade. And it's then, usually a young kid yeah. a lot of times. Well, and yeah. it's like the scene from Caddyshack too, where it's like, I'll bet you five bucks he picks his nose. I'll bet you another five that he eats. It. Mm-hmm. Like, and I mean, boogers don't taste good. They How can't? would you know, booger eater? Did you ever have one fucking go back on you? No, yeah, oh, I think so. it's the worst, dude. Well, it's like, the grossest. Like a, yeah. yeah, you've never uh, had a booger go yeah, back but I on don't you. Feel like I tasted it. Oh yeah, if yeah. it comes back up, you know, your nose well, and throat are connected. If you don't, there's also the Harry Potter bean that you can try. What? Yeah, the yeah, booger yeah, bean. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Is. Yeah. Never had that. Yeah. Who, who makes them, Nick? You know who makes them? Birdie Bot. Yes. <laughs> I don't even like those books. <laughs> I didn't know who them. made them. Yeah, you do. You Eating them. boogers. You enjoy them. Chief, you don't like the pick? Some of this, someone I don't know. It's like gross. It's yeah, just, gross. I feel like it's so rare and so private. I like, don't think so. I mean, from the guy, the live and let live guy over here, I'm surprised that he has a problem with it. I mean, it does. It's still fucking sick. You don't see that anymore. Yeah, but it's extinct. I'm not yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna go confront you about it. Yeah, you're a little, but because living. But I'll judge you in my own head, and I'll yeah. maybe give a nudge to Ed and be like, "Yo, did you see that fucking?" Argentina? And Ed will be like, "He's probably riding a tall bike, and just let him live, live and let live." I mean, that's he can do it all he wants. It's not bothering me really, other that's than I'm, I'm looking at him and want to puke in his face. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. But I just don't. I don't know. How, I mean, it's a fine pick. I just don't think it happens very often. At least I hope not. It doesn't. Okay. But more than you think when you see uh, cameras catch yeah. all the time. But least. I think that's probably why it's like coach, such a memorable. Did you see Patrick Reed's caddy? Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, shit like that. <laughs> it like, would be Patrick Reed's caddy. <laughs> First guy came to mind. His wife is his caddy on a lot of tournaments. Dude. Oh, really? Oh, my apologies. Um, she might do it. I'm just saying that's an Colin interesting Moore dynamic. Powers. You guys bring him up. It's just an interesting dynamic of, you know, you pull up his caddy, his wife. I th- uh, maybe she still doesn't do it now because they've had kids or something, but it'd be a funny thing to be like, oh. Um... Whoever. Uh, White, White Sox Dave up again. You had to say yeah, Duffner. Dave. I don't know. Like, you had to say of all the names, you, you fuck, fucking you fucking asshole. fuck you. What an and, asshole. Uh, and like that's just a Bush League thing. And I knew he was in my brain for yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 He's got a hot wife. No spoilers. Or whatever, yeah, she does. She is hot. Yeah. She is ex, I think. Williams. Yeah. yeah. She's a bad girl. I don't know if this is as much of a... Ah. Take it. Go ahead and pick it, man. That Go sound you just made. That's when I'm at a mental... Roadblock. Ah. Give us the tongue. Ah, ah, ah. Do it again with the tongue. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this, you know, what? it is fucking disgusting. It's disgusting in general, smoking cigarettes. But if you wake up to smoke a cigarette, you are the you're a fucking sickening individual. Six in the morning? Is that your pick? No, waking up in the middle of the night to like smoke cigarettes. Oh, oh, that's like wait, like waking up in the middle. Why of the night is that more cigarette? gross than any I, other? Time? I don't know. It just grosses me the fuck out. Is so SIGs a- in middle of night. Sure. I mean, that's okay. preposterous. Right? <laughs> like, there's been a lot of people smoke SIGs in the middle of the night, Dave. I know. It's disgusting. What do you mean, like, you wake up, smoke a cigarette, and go back to sleep? Yes. I think you could have just picked smoking. Who does that? Probably. Smoking is disgusting. Yeah. I, I think it's No, gross. but I mean, I guess that's it's addictive, <laughs> but it is disgusting. You look cool. You do look All cool. All right. You do look cool. Smoking SIGs is cool. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. It's still fun. It's But gross. if it was healthy... And if it wasn't gross, would it be cool? If you were doing, if it was good for you, wouldn't be cool anymore. No, it's not. But I think it, people would do it. But like, it looked cool before they knew how bad it was for you. It always looked cool. 
did it. I think people Probably. have known for a long time how bad it was for you. I think it's just like a matter of where they you were like, they you think they knew can't... in like 1910? No, 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 no. I'm saying like 1970. Like they absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah everybody's yeah, like, yeah, they, I don't know what's I going on with my lung hurts. Right. I think it was like the 50s and the 60s where it became like, actually, this is super bad. And that's when they put like the skull and crossbones on the box. But I think people... Like if you see a picture of it, like I think they're just—I think they were cool. Like in it the depends. early, early night, like Industrial Revolution guy just ripping a. Sig. Those guys were just cool, and yeah. I think you think the Sig's cool because now you know they're dangerous. I don't know. Those guys were it's cool. Chicken with or egg. Without the it might, yeah. yeah, yeah. Chicken egg. Same with cowboys. Yeah, if a cowboy's smoking a cigarette, I'm like, I could go for a dart right now. Yeah, <laughs> Draper made it look cool. Mad Men. He did. Yes. Yeah. Like Tommy Shelby, Killian Murphy. <laughs> Tom's yeah. got a pack of American Spirits in his fucking front left. Those things. Right now, guys. No. If, yeah, if I have That's three like hours to spare, yeah. I'll smoke one. <laughs> right. It's like a... <laughs> what I tell you? What I tell you? Really I pulls them Tom, out. You but no, I'm never more repulsed when I see somebody wake up in the middle of the fucking night, <laughs> just go on. outside in their nightgown and light up a cigarette. <laughs> and they just climb what a right disgusting back into that. human being. <laughs> have you ever yeah. woke up in the middle of the night, ripped one, and gone back to sleep? <laughs> no. No, she doesn't know. <laughs> I've never known that to ever happen. Yeah, I don't really know. What about cigs after sex? Dave? Have you like smoked cigs after you... I've never done that. I can't say I have either. A cigarette and a cup that's, of coffee. That's something people do. That's, that's something different. I, yeah. I think I'm probably less disgusted by people who smoke in the middle of the night because then I'm asleep. It doesn't affect me. But if you know they do it, and you would judge them even more. Yeah, like He's that's repulsed. a disgusting. Oh, yeah, you're just very it's addicted disgusting. to cigarettes. He's repulsed by the You're thinking of like person. fucking Patty and Selma. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Yes. Fucking love Patty and Selma. Yeah. They're Those hilarious. Are good aunts. But Those it's also like uh, I know I know uh, my nana uh. started smoking she smoked cigarettes for literally like seventy seven years. Like packs multiple packs a day a for seventy seven years. years. And I didn't think she was disgusting. She probably smoked at night. Do you want to stick it to Mrs. Krabappel? I would, yeah. <laughs> was she banging Skinner? She did yeah, for a while. Yeah, yeah. for a while. Krabappel was, uh, and Skinner were fucking each yeah. other. Yeah, they were dating for like a while. Yeah, Krabappel was great. She, 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 was she had that. She had that. Like, give, give it to me, face. She yeah. was the uh, perfect little skanky elementary school teacher. Yeah, bored like satire. Yeah, bored elementary school yeah. teacher yeah. just looking to get stuff. <laughs> just curious. Okay, so six in the middle of the night are off the board. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chief, you're up. All right, so this one it, it's it's just burned in my brain, and it's a very specific thing. But my freshman year of college. I came home to my roommates eating my peanut butter with their fingers. Mm. Oh. So like just multiple dips, lick it off, back in, and it was like, and I'm like, I gotta get different roommates. Like you guys are absolutely disgusting people. And they also, they were like that, we had a quad, and we it was just like one big room with like bunk beds. And I came back from being gone from another weekend. And you know how they used to have like those big like garbage bag of uh, popcorn? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like the huge ones spilled on the floor. Like we had just had like a mound of popcorn. They left it there for days, like days. These were disgusting people. And but that eating fin- eating peanut butter with your fingers would be my uh, mm-hmm. my pick. Yeah, I mean that's not that disgusting. It's yeah, it is. it's licking and going back in. Yeah, yeah I mean you're that's pretty there, eating off your the, fingers the, is gross. The can of, or the if it's a community GIF. bottle, one thousand yeah, percent. It, it was my peanut butter. Okay, that's different. Yes. Yeah. But like well, peanut butter, it's peanut butter. But you're licking it, putting word. it no, back in, and you're sharing the, no, the jar. No, the shared part's the gross yeah. part. But if it was yours and you were Get out spoon. of spoons. Get out of spoons? But no, like, it's all still all the same thing. Using a sp- I think it's the hand that makes it gross. Using a spoon and dipping it back in is still the same double dipping. Yeah, True. but it's the finger that's it's like fingers just people that, yeah. really... Because, you know... Ugh, yeah, no, that's gross. That's disgusting behavior. Yeah. Sorry that happened to you. Yeah, I got new roommates the next semester. That's good. Yeah. Um, okay, it's back to me. So you were that guy, huh? Yeah, big <laughs> time. Those people sucked. Except um, for Steve. Steve was shout out Steve Savropoulos. So back to me. I'm gonna go one in the uh, dipping vein, Dave. But like you, I, I think like just taking dip or smoking is just too bare. So I think this is one of the grossest part about dipping is I'm taking. Uh, the disgusting behavior is people who fill up their spitter too much. Yep. I've gone through 10 of these today. But you know that, yeah. though, Dave. Like, yeah. if you let that get to the Arizona thing, that's disgusting. Oh, if like it if gets you, to the label, it's yes. disgusting. It should yeah. never be able to slosh. Yeah, yeah. Spit should never slosh. Yes. Like, if I spilled this, it's not, yeah, it's not exactly. enough to spill. How many times exactly. did you, in our old office, I don't think it's happened, I think it's probably happened once that I can recall in the new office, but in the old office, I feel like that was like a once a month occurrence. 
Not You're well, not spilling good. it, but I would. I'd never like. Right there's the edge, and if we're recording for like five straight hours and it gets that point, like I'll start. I, I'd or have something. friends in college who would take like the eight ounces, like the mini oh, bottles, dude. and they'd be like proud when they filled them. Yeah, we, we had a community yeah. sp- Mott's apple juice spitter <laughs> yeah. in the middle of our table. Yes. We would fill it up and like. Be proud of it. Yeah, Jesus. see, it's, yeah. I, I get it, but it's yeah. fucking disgusting behavior. Yeah. And not even shit. It's just, you know, when it, you can't get it high, if it gets too no. high, it's gross. No, it's gross. It's disgusting. Um. So, yeah, that's my pick. Nick. Boys, it's sneezing without covering your mouth. Oh, yeah. That goes everywhere. It could fill up the room with particles. It's common courtesy. It's uh, fucking gross. Look at a sneeze slow-mo, and then you're going to be inhaling that. Ooh. Not for me. I, to shoot I, out at like hurricane force well, winds. Well, that's what I was just. It's yeah, it's like fifty miles an hour. If I remember, because Eddie and I, I think did. It's faster than that. I think it is not. It's like cough. We did. I remember because it was right at the beginning of the pandemic. It was like January. It was before, like we did a COVID podcast before like the world shut down, and I like remember looking that up, like how fast do coughs and sneeze. And I want to say it was like fifty miles an hour for a sneeze. It's fast. Yeah, and a lot of particles. Oh, dude! When you see someone and they smell, a cough disgusting. is fifty, a sneeze Ugh. is a hundred. Okay, there you go. So, yeah. Jesus, um, yeah, that's that's. I thought about it's like it. One of my fastballs, definitely worthy. Um, fifty, Carl. You're how up. is your shoulder doing? It's it's good. I'm rehabilitated. Um. <clears throat> all right. I thought Ed was going here with this one, and. Um, All right, I, mean, I thought Ed was going here this one, but, like, um, he didn't. I'm in between two things. I'm going to go really disgusting here. Um, it has to do with dip spit. You're at the cafeteria. Dave's spitting into his Coke can. I'm drinking a Coke can. I go to grab my Coke can, and I accidentally drink Dave's spitter. Ah. Accidentally drinking out of the spitter happens. Accidentally drinking out of the spitter is the most disgusting thing. It's the warm thing. It's happened to me twice. I know for a fact it happened to me in high school and it happened to me in college. But the pe- people don't actively drink yeah. them, though. That's, the, that's what I'm like saying. Like disgu- okay, so like it's not disgusting. It's fucking gross. It like sucks. it's a disgusting thing is like I yes. drank out of that spitter. Like I drank out of that. That's something that happened. I'm trying to think. Now, your talent, word. like am I understanding this isn't eligible because it's an accident? I think so. Because yeah. I don't think that, that's not an activity people willingly choose. Yeah, but, it's not like so, I'm making you drink the dip spit. Yeah, but I or see, off like then why? I guess I I'm confused then because I think if if we let, let him have the band aid, that's not like an, an intentional. Act. But no, but that's what he said. The people who leave it in there and they don't okay. like they don't pick it up. Okay, all right. So that I mean, happened like to Ed and I once, and I was like, like ex- horrified for the guy. Oh yeah, that was great. All right, shout out. No, you guys have to say I don't. So tell me. Yeah, I don't think that's a disgusting behavior. I think that's an accident. Yeah. That's very disgusting. So I would say I would veto. I would veto too. I think you could take like leaving spitters around that could be drank. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think that's that, that, that's yeah. the way you could draft that. No, I'm gonna let but you. Uh, didn't no. you just effectively take that? I no, took letting dip said, spitter get too full. Yeah, and I don't uh, want to. That's what I say. Like the, the dip spitter, the dip spitter to me, it's way disgusting. The disgusting aspect with the dip spitter is not knocking it over. It's not spitting into a cup. It's not that stuff. It's when you actually, it's like, mm. taste it. Like, that's yeah. the most disgusting thing. And you're spitting that into a tea bottle, which is a but recipe fine. for disaster. But it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's palate-wise. All right, it so is. it has to be an intentional behavior? Yeah, I think so. All right, fine. Fucking a chick when she's on her period. That is disgusting behavior. David? Don't ask because, no, the answer is no. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. It just, I think it just came. It's not bad. It just came and had, and you're really horny, and you're just like, oh, we'll just fucking, we'll just fucking the shower. Like, Chief's got a look in his fuck. eye. I, I'm not gonna say it. You have a look in your eye. I've had a bad experience. With Did you? Yeah. yeah. I had a horrendous yeah. experience like, as a I, young man. I yeah, young. Horrendous. I, I was probably 19 or 20, and I like, I will never forget it. It was that. It was that. It was gross. Looked like there was fucking someone throw a McRib in the bed. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Jesus. Well, I think we have to censor Ed? that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people listen like McRibs. Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah, it was. It was. Just trying to paint the picture. It was a scene. It was a scene. Yeah, it was a 
Yeah. I'm about to fucking vomit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We broke White Sox Dave. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> <laughs> but we agree. All right. So you guys said it had to be intentional. This is an intentional thing that Yeah, happens. banging girl on period. That's yeah. Yeah. disgusting behavior. Okay. And you are, you have to be so desperate. Just like just wait it out. So horny. <laughs> How about her? She's like, I could jerk you off. I could talk you out of this. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's no. give it a shot. But uh yeah, we'll just see like blood's blood's warm and wet. Ah. Yeah. Uh, it is. You guys said this was a disgusting. It behavior. is. Yeah. Don't this come is, back to no, me now. No, I know. Round because it's I feel like this weird. is an apt response. It's tough. That's All gross. right, the fifth round begins. All right, Carl. The fifth round, disgusting behavior. <laughs> I actually love doing this one. You are such a savage, though. It's so disgusting. You know when you're cutting bad farts. We've done this before. When you're cutting the bad fart on the elevator before you leave, and you know whoever's getting on there, there's no escaping that elevator. It's a fucking what is that? Six by six by by eight feet cube. I mean, it's just it's just there to trap That'd ass. Be, uh, it's just rectangle. there for ass. Farting on elevator. I'm joking. It's um, like a hot wet, hot wet, for for people to savor. Where it's not like you're just farting because you're like, oh, I'm farting. You're like, oh, I have a big one. <laughs> you're saving it. The doors open. You slow down on your way off, and you you're just a like. Mutant. <laughs> yeah, my, you're a villain. <laughs> would you say it's disgusting behavior? Yeah, I would. And that's it. You yeah. should be euthanized if you, <laughs> if you do that, if you're caught doing that. Yeah. That's <laughs> I used to do uh, We've been through this before on a rundown before. I was showing you videos on my phone of me doing this. Oh, you used to Snapchat yeah. it to your buddies. Yeah, you used to send it over to yeah. Giller and Dom. Be like, yeah. hey, guys, everybody have a good day. That's tough. That's yeah. fucked up. Farting that's, on the elevator. That's gross. Yeah. Farting, I mean, it's a good pick, but it is disgusting. <laughs> that's the point. I know, but it's like all these. It's but like, you're like the first one who's like fired up about the thing that on this list that you personally yeah. did. Hey, I think it's. I mean, it's yeah. I Everyone think it's, has done one. Have of you these got? On this have list. you yeah. gotten out into an elevator yes. and you're like, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. dude, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Gross. That's smells, really funny to me that you can like give shit, someone man. that experience. Like minutes later, minutes. This guy has nothing to do with your day life. Like you're just off. Oh, you're leaving it for him. Yeah, I'm leaving it. It's it's not like we're in a crowded elevator. Okay. No, doing that on a crowded elevator, Ugh. too, that's kind of funny. Because then there's not enough time to accuse anybody. It's just like somebody's off, somebody's off. Yeah. I'll stop. Sorry. <laughs> um, like we were driving back from – this is kind of in the same vein. I intentionally did this. Um, we were driving back from Madison in college one time, and we were in my buddy's car. I forget exactly what kind of car it was, but it was an old car, like early 90s, where um, – you had the th the bench sheet in the front too, so you could sit middle in the front in a car, yeah. Not like a minivan or anything. Yep. It was yeah. a car, so you could fit six people in the car. And I was sitting middle in the back, and my buddy Colton was to my right, and I, I ripped like a Keystone Light hungover Mexican food <laughs> fart. I, I know, I, I know the scent. And he immediately rolled down the window, and there's puke going all over. The <laughs> side. Oh, yeah. And I'm just sitting there fist bumping, <laughs> like, oh, I got him. Got him. <laughs> farting. So your buddy's farting so bad, so your buddy pukes. He was puking it's his brains right. out. Oh, my God. Going that's down 94, like through Rockford or something. That's great. That's what I was like so proud of myself. That's chemical weapons. Yeah, it like, is. Yeah, you it could is, bottle is, yeah. that. Like, you could yeah. take. Yeah. That's guys being dudes. It's a yeah. war crime. It, 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 yeah. it, like they should do that to like at, at Guantanamo. <laughs> you should do. You're advocating for wartime for yeah. war crimes. Yes. Okay. Thank I mean, you, for select people. Okay. All right. Farting on elevator. They're off like, the board. They're like waterboard. Me. Don't bring that man in here. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Don't bring get, White Sox Dave's ass get back. Get the in towel here. in the bucket. I can't handle this. Guy. <laughs> no! <laughs> Nick, to you. Uh, it's scratching your asshole than sniffing. Ah. Uh, uh, what are you expecting uh, it to smell like? Yeah, it's, it smells like ass. It's fucking yeah, of course. Well, 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 what are you sniffing for? I seen if they wiped clean enough. Uh, right? I mean, Maybe. it's gonna smell like asshole. Yeah. Ugh. Yucks. Do you wipe and sniff? Do I wipe and no, God no. Who? You never just I, at the end you just want to see like is this a? No, I'm not even a poop examiner. Carbon air. I like I guess blind I guys shit. Yeah, that's what so who had that bit. Like, how did, <laughs> when I went to blind guys, know how to stop wiping. That, yeah, that you was, asked uh, how did blind guys no, shit. That's on. the same way. <laughs> no, I mean how do they wipe? <laughs> Can you feel a clean ass versus a dirty ass? I think so. Eddie, Eddie, with, Eddie with, caught me with a, with a bear. Um, with like bear, yeah. Like when you're washed, like I don't know, right? Or yeah, no? you having a little extra. It's yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, It's like the swishy pants, but on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why wow, you try to steal that bit, Dave? I did. Yeah. Eddie caught me. That was uh, Jim Jeffries. Was it? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the thought process is. It's the same as the booger people. Like, why do you go right to your nose or your mouth? Yeah, it's going to smell like poop. Now, is balls, uh, I mean, I, I, sorry, it could be drafted, so sorry for tipping picks, but is balls on the table? Ball cheese? Yeah. Balls are balls are always on the table, I, think, I guess, but I think it's less gross. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. I won't be the one who says you can't take balls. Yeah, put your balls on the table. Well, yeah. Drop them. It's to me. Yeah. Um, I, so, listen, I know this one, kind of like Dave Siggs in the middle of the night, it's not that prevalent, especially where we're from, but I know this happened a shit ton in the South, and I had a guy across the street from me who did this all the time. Uh, he would just, without regard, he would dead squirrel in front of the house. He would pick it up barehanded. <gasps> so picking up roadkill barehanded. Um, and like I said, definitely. But you listen, you're probably you gave me a look like who does this? It happens. Did you see the guy at the baseball game this weekend catch the raccoon? That guy, I did see. Yes, hand? like that's crazy to me yes. too. Rabies is my number one fear, dude. It's the worst way for a human to die. That's why I 100% say, kill dude. rate. Yep. That's yep. why I say that taking out the garbage is a daytime activity. Yes. I will not take out the garbage at night. Well, no, because if the animals are out in the day, that means that's when they have rabies. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. So, whoa, whoa, should... whoa, 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 whoa. That's I usually think that's true. Just that's true too. No, but ra- like a raccoon out during the day is a bad sign. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're nocturnal. Right. So that that's a sign of rabies. Yeah. And when they got their fucking their back is slumped up and their yeah. uh, teeth yeah. are out. What is it? What they say? Are we all Confusion. vaccinated against rab- rabies? No. Oh. No, but if you get bit, you have to go within yeah. like 48 yeah. hours or else you 100% Fast. will die. Right, yeah. but like you, have to, you go insane. The second thing. you get symptoms, it's too late. Yeah. So yeah, people fucked. get bit by bats whose mouths are too small to feel and you're fucked. I read a story Very about scary. a child. No, freaking out. I read, yeah, a, man. read a story about a child who picked up a bat. The parents didn't even know he got bit and it was too late. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's how they, if they say see bats or something like that or you're around bats, just yeah. go get the rabies bags. Yeah. That's true. A guy in Elgin died last year. Really? From a bat. Yeah, he was in his 70s. And he thought he got bit and was like, well, I don't know. It was like one of those really fucked up things. But people don't die from rabies anymore. But not necessarily as much. It's still huge in third world countries. I should it say is? developing countries or whatever. Mm-hmm. Though. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, yeah, picking up roadkill barehanded. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I know probably not as prevalent, but it is still disgusting behavior. And that guy across the street from me, I'll never. Br- and he would have a full on conversation with the squirrel and his squirrel's tail in his hand. When's the block party this year? You know, I'm like, dude, get that thing out of here. That's disgusting. But is it any know. different than when like hunters kill squirrels yeah. and they carry them? I think so. I think so because Chiefs turkey at that got green. smoked by yeah. a Honda Civic. You First know what one. I mean? Like that. Wasn't and it's been sitting yeah, there. It's messy. probably already had bugs on it. Yes, it's exactly. Decaying. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And he yeah. had no regard, no regard for yeah. it at all. So I don't know. That's my pick. Circle life, man. Chief. Uh. When you see someone like scratch their head and dandruff just comes off, just like the dandruff Ooh. flaking off into the air is just you recoil. It is it is absolutely disgusting. So just yeah, shake shaking out dandruff. Yeah, gross. Yeah, disgusting. It's gross. And I feel like that is something that probably happens like a lot. Like I've been in Uber dry, in Ubers before, and they like I'm sitting like oh I'm gonna scoot over because that's disgusting. I feel like dandruff is less. Uh, prevalent than it was when we were younger head you and shoulders that? cured it they had uh, all those commercials and remember now that they, though? Yeah. well you guys have hair what is dandruff uh, so i would get it when i but it wasn't really dandruff I think it was it's like gel. a puberty thing too. no it, it's just like your scalp it's just like dead skin yeah, yeah, hair. dry so scalp like if you have yeah. a dry scalp like you could still have dandruff carl a bald man with dan what a what a cool <laughs> twist yeah, <that's, laughs> good uh, god yeah i would be losing hands. people ask me why are you so angry all the time because <laughs> i'm bald and i have dandruff <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i also feel like if you're a bald guy you got to apply sunscreen in the summer too. yeah no i'm big big be... sunscreen spf 50 okay you know mm. i mean yeah i have a lot of deficiencies well, you know, at least you're getting on top of it, though. So, yeah, because that would create, like, if you have, like, a skin, you know, if you have sunburn and it flakes, like, if you had that on your head, mm-hmm. that would be gross. Gross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in beards now, too. Ooh, oh, really yeah. Beard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Remember Dave uh, Portnoy had beard da- beard. That's dances. right. I think yeah. anybody really scratching a beard is kind of gross. He reminds me there's something about Mary, the one character. is always scratching. Uh, what's his name? I forget his name. He's got the eyeball he's a, zit. Yeah, he's always just scratching his stuff. Oh, uh, uh, pee pee peanut peanut. I would know if I heard. I'm sure. I'll get it. Anyways, there it is. Shaking out dandruff. White Sox, Dave. Who is Mister Irrelevant? So you guys said it. I'm just gonna use it for uh, uh, Mister Irrelevant. Um, when Chief brought up the dirty tissues, just like stuffed them between the couch cushions or something. <laughs> Handkerchiefs just. 
a fucking vial. Is she using a handkerchief? I'm using a handkerchief. Mm-hmm. I immediately put it down, and then Nick started talking about it. Illegally giving away future picks. It's okay. I'm not going to... I'm not going to, you know, send you to the gas chamber with my farts after a night in Madison, Wisconsin. Thanks, man. Um, but I wrote it down immediately. Handkerchief, that's just a fucking disgusting. It thing. is. Especially it is. if you use it also to, like, blot your forehead like a preacher. Oh, like yeah, the sweat. The sweat. Yeah. <laughs> that's almost more acceptable if it's just for sweat. Yes. Oh, yeah. I would agree. Dude, I mean, that's what uh, I had a buddy one time. It was a hot day use college. He brought a fucking Gatorade towel out. And it was a nice move. To, so you brought it to what? I'm sorry. He brought a Gatorade towel out to the bar. <laughs> And just fucking was wiping up. Yeah, I mean that's a gross thing to have. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd, I'd be like able to wash, hide it. Kind of not, not like exactly wash, but I'll like splash my face with water in a bar and like use the hand towels and stuff. Not the hand towels, the paper towels. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I've never brought. I don't sweat that much. So I get, I get sweaty. Your you sweater. Do. I feel I bad for sweaty, sweaty people because it's like the same thing. I, sweat's like just something. You know, yeah. you can get more sleep. You can work on your skin. There's stuff you could take. You can whiten your teeth. There's mm-hmm. all these like cosmetic fixes you can. You can't make yourself taller. You can't make yourself less sweaty. You know, there's certain yeah. things you just like cannot. Yeah. Botox. Can you? Yeah. Really? Dudes are getting Botox in their pits. So they don't sweat. Yeah, there is a surgery you could do. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. I, yeah, it's not worth it. I, just, I get like just really the back sweat. Like if I walk to work and I have my backpack on, by the time I get there, my back will be sweaty. I'm the same way, actually. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah, it's yeah, unavoidable sitting, sitting in a car for a long time. Like if it's hot, like uh, I will get back sweat. Can we inventory back hair real quick? I got a bad hairy back. I don't know if you guys. Yep, know. I do too. Yeah. yeah, I do too. It's not too. It's like it's. I notice it like the first. Like, I remember the first time I noticed it. I was brushing my teeth, and the light like I could like I could see it coming up, and I was like in my early twenties. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And I yeah yeah it's bad mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, which is uh, fine. Yeah, it's life. Um, all right, I'll read them off, then we'll do honorable mentions. Uh, Carl, bare feet on plane, leaving Band-Aid in pool, the bar mat shot, banging girl on period, farting on elevator. Nick, pub- pubic hair, pu- uh, public nail trimmings. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, public nail trimming, wiping boogers on stuff, popping zits in the mirror, sneezing without covering mouth, scratching ass and sniffing. Mm-hmm. Eddie, sharing deodorant, leaving loogie in water fountain, putting gum under table, letting dip spitter get too full, picking up roadkill barehanded. Chief, facial hair left in sink, not cleaning pee off the seat, not throwing away dirty tissues, scooping peanut butter with fingers, shaking out dandruff. White Sox Dave, not cleaning toilet regularly, not pulling hair out of drain, eating boogers, cigs in the middle of the night. (laughs) (laughs) You're disgusting if you do that. I I need a warning before you say that one, man. (laughs) (laughs) And using a handkerchief. No, okay, for for that six pick, I think that if you do that, it's that you are if i saw someone do that i'd be like what else are they capable of you know yeah yeah does that make sense doesn't stop there it doesn't stop there right yeah anybody it's like have, a gateway um, pandora's box anybody have any honorable mentions i think uh the the public hanging uh, uh keeping a jizz rag like over your bedpost Oh uh, yeah, and I th- it was like a big conversation here on I don't know if it was the yak or what. It a was. I missed are, that show. A lot of people like come on their bellies. That's gross, which to is me. crazy. That's that's insane. Insane. And that yes. was the majority that's on the yak. Insane yes. to me, those guys like come on themselves. Yes, they thought that was a normal way to finish. When no way. Off. Like yeah, I'll just come, I'm just gonna come all over me. That's a, me? That's absurd. Yeah. Yes, that's disgusting. Are they you. like throw yourself a, a towel? You're like jerking off, and you're like yeah, come on me, come on me. Who was it? They it was up to Stephen Che was Stephen Che was towel. Yeah, and it was Big Cat and Sass, and I think Roan that that Walker bust on might himself. have too. Ev yeah, I think Ev said, Walker yeah. busts on himself. Yeah, Walker does. Yeah. Horrible. I had a uh, keep a, me away from these people. A buddy, a teammate in college, would when he was and sitting these on are the, the guys we want to invite back to Chicago. I know. <laughs> got to you guys. Got to put your foot down. No, we'll come anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I, um, so continue. So we had a teammate, and so for spitters, what he would do is, um, he would go in the laundry, and he would just wear the workout shirt from like the team workout. And then he would just sit on the couch and he would just spit all over the shirt. He just mm. instead of having like he's he's like I'm sick of reaching for a spitter. That's just so that's he just spit it on himself <laughs> and then he's washed the clothes. That's that disgusting. is so Canadian lazy. Canadian catcher Canadian that's catcher. Disgusting. Just the profile. Ugh, okay. Fuck that. Um, Commercial fisherman. Too. I have it's it's a big thing too at like firehouses and like people who just maybe like payday Fridays they they eat White Castle on Friday mornings. Ever heard of that? No. no. Yeah, like like my my buddies in the academy right now, and they he brings them to like firehouse he said they they fucking slam them 
bright and early 6 a.m. White Castle at 6 a.m. That's disgusting that's, behavior. That is disgusting behavior. And I like some White Castle. I was the I first civilian to Remember ever have Michael? the White Castle Sloppy Joe. Oh, really? I got a certificate. I lived in Columbus, which is a huge fast food test market. Dude, I was the first is. one to get it. Dude, how is wow. that? I shit blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was good. <laughs> but what, <laughs> it was pretty good. White Castle gets undeserved hate. Though. It's, so it's soaking I, wet. I, the I sandwiches like are wet. But they're always fresh. They're wet. Uh, but they're always fresh. I've actually never had Trust it. Trust me, they're always fresh. You know, they we cook s- them. They're so small, so they're fast to cook, so they're made to order. You didn't have to admit that, Chief. No, that's fine. White Castle. Yeah. Uh, Remember also Michael just, that you dropped off at White my Castle? guy. I never went yeah. to see him. He said he'd give me free burgers. I do like the pickles on there, too. I, I typically don't get pickles on my burger, but I think White Castle pickle and onion is a nice, mm. is a nice combo. So I wanted you, to say that, Ed. Using someone's toothbrush. But yeah. That's, Gross. Know, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Probably more so than deodorant, but I went deodorant because that's more uh, likely. That happens more. And then my last, it just just like pop in the morning. It's kind of gross. What if, what if oh, it's yeah. like someone you're seeing? It's not for me. I dude. still think that's kind of gross. It's like, getting so out old food and shit. I know, but like you're, you're making out and kissing anyways. Yeah, like, your mouth's going to other places. Too. Yeah. So yeah, I'm with Chief. If, like my wife, if we're on the road or something, or like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, can, yeah, yeah, I can too. fucking, yeah. I'll run some super hot water over it and scrub it's it down fine. or whatever. Yeah. Like. But it, then at the same time too, I like, I did it one time, told her, I was like, can I use this? And she's like, are you fucking serious? And I was like, well, well, let me think of the stuff we've done. Like, no, it's not that gross. Not that so now I don't really tell her if I have to do it. But it's happened before. Yeah, I had I had a friend who was staying at my place. This was like three years ago. And he forgot one. I, he asked. Like, it was his last, like, hey, like, I forgot a toothbrush. She's like, can I use it? I'm like, yep. It was just, it was like a one night thing. And he like used it and he like handed it to me and I just went right in the trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now, now, if you reuse yeah, it after right. he used That's even it, grosser. That, yes. now you're on a list. Yes. See, but that uh, guy who's in a pinch, he should be allowed to be able to make that decision. Like, this is utterly disgusting, but I have to do this. Mm-hmm. But if Chief is like, okay, great, and then Chief just starts brushing it the next day. Now, you understand that where you become way more disgusting. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what if he has to reuse it a second time? And you're just sharing a toothbrush at that point. Yeah, no, it's it was, he handed it to me. Like, why would he even hand I it just, to you? I don't know. And I, I, I was dumbfounded. He's like, here you go. And I'm like, in the trash. Yeah. In the trash. I would rather not brush my teeth than use somebody's toothbrush. Not a lot of... Uh, not, even if I would like use my finger. I've done that before. Yeah. That's a disgusting I, move, though, too. <laughs> I don't think finger? so. I use I it did that in... It doesn't uh, get anything. You freshen your mouth up. I did it on the fucking RV. And you think about know. it. And, like, really, I, I get That's your fine. point, but... Just pour the toothpaste in your mouth and swish it around. If that's if it's I'm, just about yeah. freshing your mouth. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. it if it's a girlfriend, I don't care. Okay, I, I, I don't, and I don't even think that's like a bad take either. Yeah, that is a bad take. You think so? Yeah, because you're you're talking about like because you're eating pussy as well. No, like if but if pussy? you're like well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what type of pussy are you? You only eat pussy? Yeah. No, fuck no, Dave. What are you? But like the thing is, the mouth has old food. You're brushing the tongue. It's disgusting. Yeah, yeah but like you're already whatever is in the, your mouth. Your priority. You, if you're kissing, which I'm not, I don't really love kissing to be honest. But if you're doing that, I don't love you, it either. Yeah, which you are. Then it's just like it's all the same saliva. I've already, you know, it's what it, it is. is. What it is. Yeah. Um, okay. Any more? I think pissing in a bottle when you're like near a bathroom. Ah, uh, yeah. I kind of it. It's like an entertaining thing on a long bus trip, though. Like if you're at, like if you're at a long like a six hour trip for an away game and like people are pissing in the bottle. I don't know. I'm fine with that. Yeah. It's kind of funny. You guys ever like crank stick at a library or do anything weird like that? Nope. Get super horny. Just have to like blow load. It's a great video. The guy who watches porn in the library, though. Remember that old school? Oh school video. yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. All right, we- then. weird draft. Good draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, boys, for having me. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. Um. All right, everybody. That's it for today. Um. We will all see you all tomorrow. <laughs>